the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, or the DJI Matrice 300 RTK with the H20T. Which one is right for you? We're gonna talk about it, stick around. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for stopping by. You know, we get questions all the time about the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced and the DJI Matrice 300 RTK with the Zenmuse H20T. People wanna know, can I, can I get away with something small? Like, is this gonna give me what I need? And in a lot of cases, yes, it, this could give you what you need. Or do you need this big Matrice, this amazing machine here, the DJI Matrice 300 RTK? It's a monster. It's one of the greatest drones on the market. Uh, but we're gonna talk about some of the pluses and minuses of these drones and why one of these drones might be right for you or one of these drones might be wrong for you. Let's talk about some of the positives about the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. First of all, it's small. It comes in a really small form factor here. Gonna fold it up real quick. Boom, boom. Then you just put it right in a box. It looks just like this. It is tiny. You put this in the case and it's going to fit in the back of your squad car or it's going to fit in the back of your work truck. That's one of the biggest features of this drone is that it is so small and compact. Number two, it's really quick to deploy. So you take this thing right out of its case. You spread the legs out. It's just like putting it back together like I did earlier. You're ready to get this thing on the ground, get the remote started up and get up in the air. So really quick to deploy. That is one big advantage this drone has over the DJI Matrice 300 RTK. Next up is that you get high resolution thermal. You see this beautiful, this beautiful thermal camera on this little tiny drone. You know, five years ago to get a thermal camera not attached to a drone, you're talking eight, 10, even more uh, thousands of dollars. Uh, to get that camera. So the fact that it's on this drone, this little little compact drone is really pretty remarkable. The 4K camera is really good too. You know, it's on par with the DJI Mavic Air 2, apparently it's 4K camera. So if you're also gonna use this drone for any sort of like photography or whatever, it'll do a good job. You don't have any manual control over it. So you can't control like the ISO. Uh, you can't control the aperture or anything like that. It's all gonna be like automatic. Uh, but the picture quality is actually really good and it is 4K. This drone does have a 32 times zoom lens on it. That's a pretty great zoom lens. Now that's a digital zoom, so it is gonna get really pixelated as you zoom in. Uh, but that's a really nice feature of this. Now, a lot of people get sort of upset because when you zoom in 32 times uh, and you take a picture, once you look at that picture as a JPEG, when you take it off the drone, it is not going to be zoomed in the way you wanted it to be zoomed in uh, when you took that picture. It's gonna be fully wide. Uh, you can later then go into some software and crop back in. But anyway, people are sort of upset about that. But that 32 times zoom, look, if you're on a search and rescue operation, that 32 times zoom can come in really handy uh, and you don't necessarily need that you know, picture quality. So anyway, really, really great drone. Uh, and you know, having that zoom lens is, is a great thing. Next up with this Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced Package, you get the DJI Smart Controller. So that's really a great addition. You don't have to hook your phone up to something. Uh, it's got a really bright screen. It's a great product. It has HDMI out as well. So if you're trying to put it on a bigger monitor, uh, that's a great feature as well. It comes with DJI Pilot installed on it. Uh, one of the cool things is that if you are somebody, so we have a lot of SWAT team guys uh, that fly the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced um, for different reasons. But what's really nice is not only can you use the smart controller to fly the Mavic, but you can also use the smart controller to fly the DJI Mini 2. Uh, you, can, you can switch, you know, go from one drone to the other. Uh, and that's nice, like SWAT teams will actually use the DJI Mini 2 to go into a building and clear rooms. Uh, they put prop guards on it so that if it hits a wall, it's not gonna hurt anything and it'll hopefully keep it up in the air. Um, but yeah, really that's kind of a cool feature as well with this smart controller, so we like that. So with everything else we talked about in this package, uh, you also get a speaker, spotlight, and beacon. So here right now, I'll do over here on this camera. Right now we have got the spotlight on there. So you can literally take that spotlight and you can turn it on and off. Uh, one of the things you have to do is sort of place it 
you know, where you want it to go before you take off. Uh, just the positioning of it so you're getting the light in the right place that you want it to. But once you get it up in the air, you can control that light. So uh, you can turn it on and off. And that's a really cool feature. You can also put the speaker on top. So imagine you're in search and rescue and you need to communicate something to the people that are needing to be saved. Uh, you can do that. You can let them know that help is on the way. Uh, so really, those are pretty cool. You also get a beacon. The beacon, something you need to fly at night. Now, if you're going to use your spotlight at night, you're gonna to have to get another beacon to put on the drone. Just don't cover the GPS, cause that would be a problem, but you need to get some sort of sticky beacon uh, that you can put on top of the drone so that you can have the spotlight and the beacon. If you don't need the spotlight, you can put that beacon uh, right here where, where this thing is. It just unscrews, you put the beacon down and then you're ready to rock. Okay, so the best thing is this whole package, it's $7,000, that doesn't include the DJI Mini 2. So under $7,000, you're getting the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. You, it comes with a case, uh, comes with a smart controller, it comes with a speaker, spotlight, and beacon. It comes with a travel charger. It comes with a multi-charger. It comes with all sorts of stuff. So really, really a great value. And you know, a little bit different than something like the DJI Matrice 300 RTK. Speaking of that, let's talk about the positives about the DJI Matrice 300 RTK and the Zenmuse H20T. Okay, so one of the major things people talk about with the DJI Matrice 300 RTK is it has a 55 minute flight time. Now they say 55 minutes, uh, that is in ideal conditions. Um, realistically, you're probably looking at more like 45 minutes, I would say. Now, how do they get that flight time? They have two big batteries here. I can show you one of the batteries here. So right here, this is a brick. <laughs> it's a big battery. It takes two of these, but that's how they get that 55 minute flight time with two giant batteries. You can also hot swap these batteries. The drone lands, it's on obviously. When you walk over, you pop one battery out, put a new battery in, pop the other battery out, put a new battery in, and you take off. You never have to actually turn the drone off. So that's a really cool feature of this drone as well, is that you can hot swap these batteries. This drone has a ton of cameras on it. So yes, the Matrice 300 RTK does come with thermal on the Zenmuse H20T. There's an FPV camera on the Matrice 300 RTK. Uh, that allows you just in case the, the camera that's on the gimbal, something goes wrong, you lose it, you still got your FPV camera so you can hopefully get your bearings and make it back home. And hopefully the home button is working as well. There's also a wide angle camera. It is fixed. It is just gonna stay at the same focal length all the time, but that's one additional camera that you've got. That camera is on the Zenmuse H20T, that wide angle camera. You also get a zoom lens on the Zenmuse H20T and it is incredible. It has a 23 times optical zoom range and a 200 times digital zoom range. We are 42 miles, 43 miles outside of Chicago and we zoomed in and we're able to see the top of the Sears Tower. Uh, I actually did some night flying and zoomed in to the moon and was you know, able to see a lot of the moon. I'm pretty sure there aren't any aliens on the moon because I have checked out a lot of it. But this zoom camera really is a great piece of technology, but you gotta see it for yourself to kind of understand how this thing works. You also have a laser rangefinder. So if you're trying to figure out how far something is from you, you point the drone down, you do the laser rangefinder, and it's gonna give you an accurate GPS reading of whatever it is you're pointing at. So that's a that's a pretty cool uh, piece of tech as well. You get a laser rangefinder with this Zenmuse H20T. Now the zoom lens we were talking about later, it also does tracking. So say there's a subject, you're a police officer, there's a subject uh, that you're wanting to sort of track. You touch this guy and the drone is gonna track him. Wherever he walks, it's gonna track him. Same with cars, it's gonna track that car. It's just gonna continue to zoom in as the car gets further away. The drone itself doesn't move, but as the cars go further away, the drone is gonna to continue to zoom and follow them for miles and miles until like they go over a hill and lose sight or they go behind a bunch of trees. The drone then struggles to find them at that point. But it's, it's really kind of interesting to see how this thing works. You also get the Smart Controller Enterprise. Again, this has HDMI out on it. You can put an SD card in to save stuff. Uh, comes with DJI Pilot built into it as well but it also has an external battery that you can put on the back. So this thing's gonna be, give you a lot of time. There is an internal battery, 
but then you've also got an external battery uh, that you can pop off. This is called a WB37, I believe. Um, but yeah, you have extra batteries, you can pop them on there, and this has an internal battery as well. This will not work with your DJI Mini 2 though, just so you know that. You can have dual controllers with this drone, so one guy is flying the drone by using the FPV camera, and another guy is controlling the Zenmuse H20T, uh, so he's not flying the drone, he is just using the camera for, you know, whatever, for search and rescue, for some cinematic shots, whatever that might be. They can also switch by tapping the screen, so then they, one of, whoever was flying will now not be flying, they'll be controlling the camera, whoever was controlling the camera will now be flying. It's really easy, really simple. You can also do what's called a handoff with these remote controllers if you got two of them. So you could be in one location with the drone in line of sight. Say you go a mile away and you've got your partner who is down the road two miles. As soon as he gets line of sight, he can then take control of the drone. That's called a handoff. And that's a pretty cool feature with the DJI Matrice 300 RTK. Now it is expensive. Like I said, I can't actually give you the price. You'll have to reach out to us if you want the price of the DJI Matrice 300 RTK. So bottom line, both of these drones are really great. They both serve different purposes sometimes. They both serve the same purposes sometimes. Uh, it just depends on what you're looking for. I should also mention that the Matrice is a little more weather sealed uh, than the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. The Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, you should not fly in any sort of moisture uh, in terms of rain or snow or anything like that. The Matrice will actually take a little bit of rain, will take a little bit of snow. So I didn't mention that, uh, that's an important one. But both of these drones are really great. And you know, if you're looking for something like the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, like I said, it's under $7,000. Uh, so if you're a small police department, this might be something you can get funds for. And it's gonna really improve the way you guys do things. Search and rescue, you could have 20 people out there and they could be searching for an hour walking through a field. This could find somebody in the dark a lot faster than that. So under $7,000. If you're looking for something like the Matrice, it's gonna be a lot more money, but it really is a great drone. You know, one of the big downsides is it takes a little bit to, to get it going and you're not gonna get this up in the air in a minute and a half like you could with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance. You've gotta unfold arms, you've gotta lock arms, you gotta turn it on. It takes a little bit more time and it's a lot bigger, but both really, really great drones. Uh, and hey, I should mention, you know, you can get them from us, so you should check it out. If you want to check out the QR code that's on the screen, you know, just use your phone, the, your camera to click on that. That's gonna give you all of our information. You can save it right to your contacts list if you wanted to. Uh, but otherwise, you should like and subscribe. We appreciate you stopping by. We'll see you next time.